Kentucky Fried Chicken, but guess what? It's beyond me. Hey gang! It's Annie and Jesse, And welcome back to your to daily dose, dose of chaos! Of chaos. Police so I got us honey mustard sauce because honey mustard sauce is the best sauce and we don't like ranch. She got honey mustard. Here's a honey mustard for you. Oh shit, <laughs> wait, shit, wait, shit. Wait, 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 wait. okay. Alright, you ready? Oh. <laughs> yes! <Are> you ready? <laughs> Let me get my honey mustard. I have secured the honey mustard. So come to the green box. We got ourselves friends. I'm gonna open up the the mick chicken or whatever you get a biscuit she's like you want the six piece combo i was like sure so we have chipotle napkins for anna <laughs> okay chipotle did you get like fries yeah okay i guess we'll give a review of their fries are their fries i don't know how to keep it from my dogs <laughs> okay we got it we secured the goods okay oh i kind of like Want the biscuit? Want the biscuit? Sure. Just put the biscuit. Yeah. So let's okay, fam. Hi, Dee Dee. We got Kentucky Fried Chicken, but guess what? It's beyond me. Yeah, it's vegan, so it's super sick. And we got their combo meal with fries and a biscuit. I don't think the biscuit is vegan, but I don't want to waste food, so we're gonna try it. So I think my favorite part about this is it comes in a green box. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty so cute. I feel like I'm a plant. Yeah, and it's uh, not plastic, yeah. so that's good. Save the planet, save the animals. Right, Callie? Yeah. Right, Callie? All right. Because Sophie is really excited. Hi, Callie. Would you like a fry? Let's have Callie try a fry. Fry. Okay. She doesn't like the fry. It doesn't taste like a fry. Like, I think they're called potato wedges, not fries, right? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It doesn't taste like a fry. Here, Cody, let me know how you like it. Cody likes it. It's Cody approved. Cody, 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 Cody. Since we did our fry video, and I'll reference the fry video here, let's rate the fry since we rated all of those. I guess like a four to ten. Really? Honestly, I don't really consider it a fry, but in terms of like flavor, I give it like a six. It tastes really good with honey mustard. I mean, I kind of like it because it's crispy on the outside and like it's, it's battered. That's why it tastes like that. It's kind of yummy. It tastes better with the honey mustard. Oh, their honey mustard's pretty good. Holy the shit. Honey mustard's bad. Yeah, but I guess the honey mustard isn't vegan, so we kind of fucked up there. Want to try biscuit? Let's try the biscuit. Yeah, I'll leave the chicken nuggets to the end. Dun, dun, dun. Mmm. I haven't had a biscuit in so long. I never liked biscuits, but these are good. It's pretty good. Mm. It would taste really good with the honey mustard. <laughs> Callie likes the biscuit. Really? I'm calling it a fry, but she likes the biscuit. It's actually really good with the honey mustard. Trust me, it's so good. I know it's like weird, but it was pretty good. Okay, Cody, let's see if you like it. I'm gonna try it with the Oh, Cody likes it. You like it, Stinky? Oh, mm. Stinky likes it. I go with honey mustard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? So these Beyond chicken nuggets are a big deal. They like were released in Canada first. Like, oh my God, Jess, stop. Uh, Callie, S S Sophie, God, <laughs> my brain. <laughs> You're just making Callie so mad. Beyond didn't make these chicken nuggets just for KFC. They came out with Beyond Chicken like this in 2021. And they were released in Canada. And I don't know if they've ever been released in the US until like this, because I've never been able to find them anywhere. But all the Canadian YouTubers like rave and say it is the best chicken ever. And it's like the closest to chicken. And I've been like waiting to get my hands on Beyond Chicken. Well, I'm gonna try it. Try it first without the honey mustard. Oh, okay, I'll try the other. <laughs> it's cold and it's juicy. It definitely tastes like you're eating like Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeah, well, the breading. Mmm, the honey mustard's so good. I think you could trick people. I think you could trick people into thinking it's chicken. Mmm, it's good. I think Stinky wants some. I don't know how you would tell people this isn't chicken. It's like such a bitch. Wanna try it? 
Mm. Let's see if Pat likes it. I'm trying to think of something to critique them on. I can't come up with anything. Like, is there anything about it that's not chicken? Callie likes the chicken. Callie likes it. It's dog approved. Sophie's being so bad, I was debating on just letting her go. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie, I'm right here. Maybe if I put her in your car, she'll shut the fuck up. Yeah. I can't figure out something to complain about. It's really good. Really good. I guess the one thing I'll say is they did claim it's fried chicken. I don't believe they were chicken nuggets, right? No, it said, yeah, fried chicken. I think fried. it's too small to be fried chicken, but too big to be a chicken nugget, personally. Right? You're just in your passenger seat with three dogs. <laughs> I think he's driving. Yeah. But wouldn't you agree, like, it's too big to be a chicken nugget, but it's too small to be a fried chicken. Like, mm -hmm. they should have made the pieces a little bit bigger. Mm-hmm. It's like you're eating the chicken patty. Yeah. I mean, it is a true partnership because Beyond made the dope-ass chicken and then the breading is KFC, so. Wanna fry it? No fry! Jess is just <laughs> chowing down over there. I'm trying to get Kelly to eat a fry. Her high mustard honestly might be better than McDonald's. I think this is the best honey mustard I've had. Like, McDonald's is, was my favorite, but this is pretty good. This is A1 honey mustard right here. This honey mustard is going D1. Bro. Been the draft before anyone else. Let's rate the chicken nugget. Oh my god, we did our chicken nugget video too. So we tasted all the fries and the chicken nugget. I mean, that is the closest to chicken, even more than anything in our chicken nugget video. Yeah. Those are even better than the the nugs chicken nuggets. I mean, I guess I give them a 10, like, because I can't even think of anything to knock them on. Like, if I give them a 9, like, what am I knocking them on? Yeah, I mean, it's like Loki, a 10 out of 10. Now we know where we can go to eat because like when you're vegan, there's a lot of fast food restaurants you can't really go to besides like Taco Bell, which peep our vegan Taco Bell video. Yeah, Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A can suck my dick. Yeah, fuck Chick-fil-A. I messaged them and I was like, y'all should make vegan chicken. Oh. I'm not going there for their fries or nothing anymore. And what did they reply though with? Didn't they say something like, we don't care? They were like, sorry, this is just not in our type of business. Like, wow. You know what they must have done? They must have made a Venn diagram of like Christians and vegans. And they're like, we do not see the overlap. They were so mean. They're like, we're sorry. It was like a breakup. They're like, we're not interested. What? <laughs> Whatever. Do you want to fry yet? Which is so dumb because like not to throw stats at you, but according, I'm gonna be like a scientist right now. In 2017, Gallup did like a poll and they found that like 8% of the population is vegetarian. <laughs> vegetarian. So if in 2017, 8% of the population was vegetarian, like how much percent of the population is vegetarian now in like 2021 or 2022? No. No. Like there's so many people even doing Veganuary for like January, like how people do dry January, people are doing like vegan in January. So it's like, you need to start making vegan substitutes because even if it's the number is still 8% like it was in 2017, like that's like almost one in 10 people. There's certain cultures even that are vegetarian in the United States, like certain Asian populations will commonly be vegetarian. There's certain religions like Orthodox Christianity, even like true Orthodox Christianity, you fast and they do like vegetarian and vegan fast for their religion if you're a true Orthodox Christian, so. Yeah. And if you're a Christian and you do Lent, uh, you can, uh, on your meatless Fridays, I mean, come to KFC and get a vegan chicken nugget, apparently. KFC? So KFC, I applaud you. Thank you for making vegan food for and vegetarian food for people like me and Jess. This was super good. I give it 10 out of 10. It's Annie and Jesse approved, for sure. Cody approved, Stinky approved, and Callie approved as well. Not oh, Sophie approved, though, because that bitch is going nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Callie likes ate a fry, finally. Oh, okay, so the fries are Cali approved. All right, guys, all thank right, you so much right, for watching right. Kentucky Fried Chicken, or what you guys say KFC was amazing, was phenomenal. My best friend, we're best friends. Callie loved it, which is very rare. She doesn't like food. But make sure you guys like this video because it really helps out our channel. Make sure you guys subscribe to keep up with our content. We have a lot of fun content already planned for 2022. Follow me on Instagram to see pictures of my dog. Yeah. And tweet me at David Jessica Dobrik. Jessica David Dobrik Paige Sperling says bye. Thanks. Thanks bye. for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching, bye. Pinky. Thanks for watching, Cody. Say bye. Bye, Gally. Wait, bye Cody! Bye, bye Cody! <laughs> bye! 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 B
Beyond. Beyond. Kelly, get in the fucking picture. Come here. Give me a kiss. Here, Kelly. Want some chicken? Chicken. 